I was recently asked about using LTN with space elevators in Factorio Space Exploration, and since it seems there isn't a guide for that on YouTube, I thought I should put something together. Welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio. Here, I've got a basic Norvian LTN setup running, following all the rules from the LTN Basics tutorial. I'm not going to run through setting this up again, so if you're not sure how to get LTN working, please watch that video first. As you can see, the trains are merrily running round, taking iron ingots from my pickup station to the drop-off station. This is all fine. But then, I research space elevators and want to use the new toys. So, I drop in an elevator and link Norvis and Norbit together. Unfortunately, even when I put an iron ingots drop-off station in Norbit, the trains aren't interested and just keep delivering to the other station on Norvis. The answer to this problem is the helpfully named Space Exploration LTN Integration mod, also known as SE LTN Glue. If you install this mod, then an additional option appears in the Space Elevator GUI, allowing you to connect LTN through the elevator. Just flick this switch across. You can also specify which network or networks are to be linked. The default is minus one, which means all networks, but if you want to specify otherwise, you can program it using binary coded bit masks in the same way as you would with the station networks. Now, as you can see, the train will happily pick up some iron from the station on the ground and run up the elevator to drop it off in space. We're not done yet though. I've added another provider station in Norbit that's offering iridium ingots, but if I set the station down on the ground to ask for them, nothing will happen. This is because LTN requests can only be fulfilled by trains that run from a depot on the same surface as the provider station. The good news is that fixing this is quite easy. We just need to add an additional depot in orbit and give it some trains. Now the trains from the ground depot will transport the iron to wherever it's needed and the trains from the orbital depot will deal with any resources in orbit. All the trains will head back to a depot on the surface they started from once they've finished their run so you don't need to worry about all the trains accumulating at one end. And that's it, mostly. For normal use this should be sufficient but there are a few edge cases and options I'm going to run through as well. Since the trains need to return to their starting service, it's important to have the Delivery Completes at Requester LTN option disabled. Without this, you could end up with all your trains trying to stay on one side of the elevator, causing everything to break. This option is disabled by default, so you don't need to change anything here, unless you've already changed it for other reasons. Similarly, the system doesn't play well with vanilla train limits. Normally with LTN, you'd use the LTN train limits, setting them in the combinator rather than on the station. But if you have set them on the station, the trains may get a bit confused when they leave the elevator and, and jam up your system. To avoid this, there's an extra option that allows you to send trains to a clearance station when they leave the elevator. These are temporary buffer stations to allow the trains to stack somewhere out of the way if necessary. Once again, you probably won't need this option unless you're doing weird things with your stations as LTN handles train limits separately from the base games option. And as a reminder, you don't need to set this up if you're only using LTN's train limit. It's only if you're using the base game option. Finally, if you have multiple elevators and you care which one your trains use, make sure they have different names as LTN won't differentiate between them. Of course, if they're all linked top and bottom, then it's all fine. But if you have separate rail networks on separate elevators, then this could lead to a train going up the wrong elevator. I hope you found this useful. LTN is a fantastic mod for injecting some sanity into your train systems, and we've definitely been missing it since we decided not to use it in our current stream. If you want to see how we're working around it, come along to the weekly stream or check out our summary videos. I've also got lots more videos on spaceships, logistics, outposting, and more in the tutorial playlist. I hope they're useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.